Hello and welcome back. In this episode, the oil cooler. In this episode I will be fixing this leaky oil cooler. Before you start you should drain the engine of both oil and seawater. I start with removing the seawater hose connected to the after cooler. After I have removed the oil filter, I loosen the three bolts holding the oil filter housing. Do not remove the bolts yet. Next, I unscrew the retainer holding the seawater pipe in front of the cooler. Now I remove the three bolts from the housing and remove the housing with the cooler attached. There are four rubber sealants which needs to be replaced later. Now simply unscrew the four bolts attaching the cooler to the oil filter housing. Again, here there are four rubber sealant which needs to be replaced. Now unscrew the four bolts holding the lid. the lid and then reattach the four bolts but do not screw them all the way in. Leave a good centimeter on all bolts. Place the cooler on a solid surface, resting on the four bolts. If the cooler is painted in, now remove the paint with a sharp knife. Also unscrew the sink, which needs to be replaced. For the next part you need to be careful, yet powerful. You need a wooden chip about half a centimeter thick. Place this along the rim of the cooler insert. Be careful not to bend any part of the insert. This is made of copper and is very soft. You need to take care not to damage the insert, as this can render it totally unusable. It may take some hard hits, but it should eventually loosen. Now remove the four bolts again and take out the insert. Remove the two O-rings. The whole unit should now be cleaned. The seawater side can be cleaned using the same mixture as I used in episode 1 when I cleaned the heat exchanger. The oil side must not be cleaned this way, but instead use an alkaline cleaning agent or simply use diesel fuel. Rinse it thoroughly afterwards. Start the reassembly by inserting the new O-rings. Use engine oil to lubricate.
reattach the lid and a new gasket. Do not fully tighten the three bolts yet. First inspect the rear of the unit to make sure that the rubber sealants are placed correctly. Any misalignment here will result in a serious oil leakage. If it all looks good, tighten the bolts to a torque of 40 Nm using a torque wrench. That's all for this time and in the next episode I will be taking off the manifold.